Hey, Mr. Parker here to review a movie. Uh, this one is actually a Ted Bowes movie. He uh, produced The Deadly Spawn, did the movie Regenerated Man, I believe. Uh, this one is from Elite or MVD. This is uh, Hell on Earth. Yeah, it's got this demon. It's his new movie. He hadn't made a movie in a while, I don't believe. But, uh, yeah, this movie, I would say, has, uh, has just as much bad things as good things going for it. Uh, it is this really cheesy, hokey, horror comedy movie about a crippled kid who has an awful family of over-exaggerated pieces of crap. The dad's like an Al Bundy who just doesn't care, but ten times worse. The mom's a uh, uppity, rich, mean bitch who only cares about her good-looking daughter and uh, cares only for her daughter. Her daughter's a horrible, horrible person, and in reality, the family probably deserves to die. The only person that cares for this uh, kid is his creepy aunt who is obsessed with occult things. Gives him the Book of the Dead where he becomes magic and starts uh, talking to demons from hell. Some are cool, some are evil, some are scary, and, uh, you know, they even wish him a happy birthday in the beginning. Uh, there's some cool, there's a couple cool creature effects in the film, there's some cool makeup effects, but there's also this, uh, these, uh, digital effects, they're not CGI, uh, there's electrical effects, uh, some of them are okay, and some of the digital effects I, I just find really too cheesy and hokey, uh, you know, it's trying to do it without computer-generated effects, like CGI, exactly, but there's just, com they are computer-generated, but they're just a little different effect, you know, electric, electricity, other kind of, uh, tricks, but a lot of them look so hokey and cheesy. The movie's really cheesy, really goofy. Uh, some of the acting is terrible, but I think a lot of that is intentional because it's such a you know over the top movie. But a lot of it's just like, and a lot of it's pretty decent. So you get you get a wide variety of acting skills in this film. Basically, what happens is his sister's having a party over, and uh, he ends up being forced to. Uh, do this spell he doesn't want to do by an aggressive demon and he brings all these crazy demons and monsters and zombies back into his house and they're trapped in a house and the people start getting picked off. Uh, there is surprisingly a couple really good gore effects in here which caught me by surprise because I really hadn't seen anything and all of a sudden somebody's head gets completely split open and their brains get eaten out which is really cool looking. Lisa? What the hell is going on? Oh, I'm just remembering what my mother used to tell me. And what was that? She said, always go out with a boy with... There's a couple scenes like that, a couple practical gore effects that are uh, definitely worth it. Uh, there's some really, like I said, some uh, bad effects in here as well. But it's all around, it's just your fun, cheesy, kind of crappy movie, hokey as hell. Uh, I don't know, it sometimes feels like Are You Afraid of the Dark episode type caliber. But, uh, you know, it, it, its heart was in the right spot. Uh, I think it's okay. I think it's maybe a decent time killer. I mean, it's no Deadly Spawn, or I believe the Regenerated Man is uh, better. They even do uh, kind of a uh, shout out to the Regenerated Man with the bone. Uh, I don't want to give it too much away, but bones as weapons. If you guys ever seen Regenerated Man, you'll know. The bones shoot out as weapons. Something like that happens here. Uh, the lead, uh, the dad. He's kind of a decent character. He's kind of almost likable, even though he's a piece of crap. He's kind of funny. He's kind of like that perverted old dad. But these guys are living in this huge mansion, and he just underdresses so bad. He's just in, like, your typical Al Bundy attire. And it's like, they're in a mansion, man. This guy dresses like this. Uh, like I said, there's a couple funny parts, but, uh, you know... A couple cute moments as well, and then a couple gore moments. It's kind of weird movie all around, but, uh, you know, there's. It, I guess it's decent if you wanted to kill some time. But uh, I can't really highly recommend this movie at all. Like I said, it's just a fun time killer with some uh, cool effects sometimes. Like, I mean, there's a couple cool creatures in here. Like, uh, they're only in a little bit, which is really disappointing. You see one pop around the stairway, and he's like this uh, kind of an elaborate like skeleton thing, but you don't really get to see him that much. Most of the time, you just see zombies. But uh, I, there's a scene where one demon Rhea is brought back uh, just to talk to him, and they do movie trivia. That's a really uh, funny scene, I guess. Oh, my God. Long one. How you doing? All right, Ken, okay, how's tricks? Good, You got good. any magazines around here? Um, why don't we do movie trivia? Oh, yeah, that'd be so much better. Oh, come on. You go first. Uh, all right, all right, I've been thinking about this. Uh, coming up with something to stump you. Um, in which Bond movie does 007 try to stop an evil genius from starting World War III? Oh, 
come on, that's so easy. You got Thunderball uh, on Her Majesty's Secret Service. You only live twice. Diamonds are forever, and Moonraker, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I get the picture. I got one for you. Okay. In which Alfred Hitchcock film does an innocent person get accused of a crime that they didn't commit, yet all the evidence points against them? Jeez. Uh, I know this. Uh, <laughs> You're going down, Bobby. I know this one. Uh, the Wrong Man, uh, North by Northwest, uh, Spellbound, uh, Suspicion, and uh, Frenzy. All right, all right, all right. I see that you've been practicing. Yeah. I mean, I guess now we could do this until you're blue in the face. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, did I tell you I was banging Marilyn Monroe? Really? Yeah. Does, Does she, she still look like Marilyn Monroe? Uh, no, she looks pretty goddamn bad, Bobby. Yeah. But she's, she's a good person. But, you know, there's sometimes it'll just show, like, the demon's just there, like, obviously, like, it looks like they're in front of a blue screen or something, they're just like, or zombies, <laughs> it's just like, it looked like this movie is made uh, kind of quickly, and definitely on a budget, but, you know, I see much worse. Uh, thank you very much for watching, have a good one. Listen, kiddo, you can do it, do it for me, I'm your goddamn friend, and I do mean goddamn. Listen, uh... Do this right and hell, I'll even get you a nice big surprise. I can't anyway, she never translated it. What kind of surprise? <laughs> How's that for translation, huh? Cool. <laughs> and maybe you can do my math homework for me too. Math homework? <laughs> you do this right. You ain't gonna ever have to worry about math homework again. I promise you that. You can take that to the bank. <laughs> now read. Azal, Azal, Azal. No, 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 Azal.